Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek with Spiel 17. I'm sitting down with Patrick Haver. Quick, simple, fun, and news. Correct. News we just released yesterday. So, <laughs> it's obviously very new to everybody, but it's been doing pretty well for us. As you can see, it's a really nice looking game with a lot of beautiful art in it. And we are just, just pointing out with a, a beautiful gold foil, which I'm not quite sure will show up on camera, but it literally has a sparkle to it on the front. And also on the, the basic rules, the rules, this is the entirety of the rules. There we go. That's, <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's it. <laughs> so, um, why don't you teach it to us, because with the rule book this short, it's not going to take very long. It's not. So, basically, Beth, you would take one of the art cards and one of the clue cards, and then you would look at it without me looking at it Got and it. give me a clue. All right. So am I going to read you this clue? No. Okay, I'm just going to give you a clue. <laughs> I'm going to say belly button. Okay, and then you take five random cards. Shuffle it in with your art card. I really like that you're teaching me this one that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> By the way. <laughs> it's the best way to teach a game. If you guys are, are along for the ride, so am I. <laughs> All right. I have my art cards, which are really spectacular. And then you lay the six art cards down. And if you play with two or three people, you're playing cooperatively. If you're playing with four or more, you can play as teams. Okay, Since we're cooperative there are my art cards. And your clue was? Belly button. Hmm. Well, based off of these, I think it's one of those two, but I'm going to say this one. No. <laughs> <laughs> In retrospect now, I probably should have uh, perhaps picked one. I just went with one that amused me. <laughs> but my card was the duckies in a storm. Okay. <laughs> Don't your rubber ducks have belly buttons? So if we're playing cooperatively, <laughs> we have to get five right before we get three wrong. Ah! <laughs> now, if you play as teams, one team will look at two clues and six art cards, and then try to pick the hardest combination to give to one person on the other team. And they'll do the same thing you did, look at one of those and one of those, Pairing, and yeah. give their clue, and then shuffle the other five art cards into it. I'd love to give just a, a, another set of six here for people just to get a sampling of the art. Did you have one artist who yes, did everything? One artist did over half of them, but three artists actually contributed to the product. Andre Garcia did a little over half of the art, and everything's really turned out great. I was really happy with everything they gave us. So. And likewise, I'd love to give just a sampling of some of your clue cards here. So the, the one you had flipped up there was name a published book, name a non-fictional building structure or monument. I love that these look like constellations too. Name a color of the rainbow, name a movie released in the last 50 years, a fictional character from any published work, strike a pose using any part or parts of your body. <laughs> All to be interpreted through those cards. Correct. <laughs> so it, it's been going over pretty well. People are really loving it. And it kind of gives you a little bit more to it than certain other games that are using the abstract art. I know a lot of times the other games might have a certain clue if you play with a group for a while that will definitely highlight that card. But because we have so many different clues for it, it's kind of hard to match them up constantly for the same thing. Now, because you can play this competitively and cooperatively, so I, I imagine this is a game that doesn't really have a max number of players. It's sort of however many you feel like smashing in around one table. Correct. We put 2 to 12 on the box, but we played with up to 20. <laughs> <laughs> First part would be getting them around the table at that point. <laughs> how, now, how long do you think it... Well, again, I, I guess time is not so much a consideration because you can just sort of play until you want to stop playing tally up your scores at that point. Right, I mean, usually we put in the rules that you can play to five cards, but you can play to as many as you like. Right. <laughs> well, Patrick, I'm, I'm thrilled that this is doing so well for you, being released as of yesterday. It's brand new. If you guys want to check that out, this is News, which is from Pick Simple Fun, and thank you again. Thank you.